As many of you may already know, I'm working towards creating a wearable Foxy that can also function as a standalone animatronic. One of the biggest challenges I faced over the past few months is building a robotic neck that's strong enough to support Foxy's massive head while also being fast enough to keep up with animations and songs. You are a pirate! Yeah. We got us a map! The issue is that, although Foxy's head is relatively light, weighing around 4 to 5 pounds, it's very long and front heavy. This creates a massive amount of torque on any motor trying to move it, especially for up and down movements. High torque servos not only cost quite a bit, but also consume much more power. To tackle this, my original design used fairly cheap motors working in pairs with large gear ratios to create a higher torque. While this setup did work, it brought along several problems. First, having motors working in pairs was a big pain when it came to programming, because both motors had to be perfectly in sync. If for some reason one motor was moving and the other one wasn't, it would result in that motor getting fried. And boy did I fry a ton of motors. Another problem was speed. Using big gears meant that the speed was converted into torque, so movements were pretty slow. While the design functioned, I wasn't very happy with its limitations, so I decided to buy the bullet and design a new and improved version using big servos. So, I wanted to add tilt, up and down, and the left and right movement, which the previous version didn't even have. To figure out which motors I'd need, I had to calculate torque. By getting the head's weight and its center of mass and multiplying it by the distance from the rotation point, I got a value of around 70 kg centimeters. To be absolutely sure, I decided to go with a 150 kg servo. This motor already included mounting brackets with an inner bearing, making the design process relatively straightforward. Next, I focus on the tilt. I got a 30 kg servo and mounted it on the side of the 150 kg one with a little arm that pushes or pulls the head, causing it to tilt sideways. Since the neck is going to be under a lot of stress, I wanted everything to be well supported with minimal friction and no wiggle room. So, I added pressure fit bearings to each connection and reinforced the 3D prints with long screws acting as beams. So even though everything is made out of PLA, it all moves smoothly with no noticeable wiggle or bending. For the side-to-side -side movement, I didn't want to throw big bucks at another giant servo, so I went with a more moderate 11 kg one. I added a big bearing system to ensure that the servo had to do the least amount of work to move the head. I used a large roller bearing to prevent tilting or axial friction and a thrust bearing on top to ensure there's no friction due to the weight of the head. So, in the end, all the weight is supported by the bearings and not the motor itself. This worked way better than I expected, and it honestly made the design feel much better with how everything moves. At this point, I really didn't want to fry $90 worth of servos, so I ended up adding springs to help distribute the torque peaks. For example, on the back, if Foxy's head lowers too much, the springs assist the motor by reducing the amount of force needed to bring it back up. This doesn't really help when the neck is alone, but it makes a huge difference when the head is on, allowing the motors to run for longer without heating up as much. And with that, the neck is pretty much done. This build is a bit technical, but I haven't seen many neck designs out there focus on high torque. I'll leave the files in the description if anyone wants to replicate or adapt it for another project. 
Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. I'll be sharing upcoming project builds and more footage of Foxy in action. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future and I'll see you next time.